What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to focus on my least favorite Funko Pops of 2021. Now, this is not something that I do every year. And part of the reason why is because I don't want to be that person that kind of steps on other people's fun. Like, if you enjoy certain figures, you know, completely go ahead. That's your opinion. But when I look back at the Pops that released this year, there were definitely some that stuck out to me um, and certain trends that I don't really want to see moving forward with Funko. So that's why I'm going to address them. Also, I did put out a couple of options to my patrons and I allowed them to vote. And this is what they wanted to see first. So um, there will be some other content coming up related to that poll that I did on my Patreon account. And I definitely do appreciate my patrons, you know, those that voted, and even those that didn't have time to vote, you know, anybody that's supporting my channel in that way, I truly do appreciate appreciate that but uh yeah i'm gonna starting off with this and i did decide to split the video up to you know basically go ahead and focus on my least favorite first and then in a couple of days i will have my favorite pops of 2021 up i really want to go into the new year with the positivity so basically i'm getting the negativity out of the way first and with that being said if you really don't like to hear negativity or you're sensitive about people having different opinions please don't watch this video this may not be the video for you but if you're willing to listen to why i feel the way about certain figures definitely hang around and then share your own opinions in the comments um, after you've checked the video out now this is not necessarily a countdown but there is one particular pop i'm saving for the end plus because it probably is my absolute least favorite of the year so i did decide to save that one to the end but um yeah like i said i'm going to go ahead and get into this but remember in a couple of days i will have that other video up my favorite pops of 2021 so I'm starting off with this Harry Potter pop. Now, I'll be honest, I don't collect Harry Potter regardless. Um, it's just not a franchise I've really gotten into, but I have seen them do some pretty cool Funko Pops in the past. And I actually think some of the deluxe figures that have been revealed recently are pretty cool. But this particular Harry Potter, um, even fans, like big fans of the franchise, don't really seem that thrilled about this particular figure. And I think it comes down to the design. For one thing, we've seen Harry Potter on the broom um, in a much better looking figure, basically. We, we've seen that before. As a matter of fact, I think it was a previous convention exclusive. But this one, the design just does not work well. I'll, I'll say this. I think the broom handle, maybe it would help if it was longer because, you know, certain people have said something about this figure. And once you hear that, it's kind of hard to unsee that, you know. So I'm just going to leave it at that and say that this is a very awkward looking figure, even when you see it up close. And I've seen so many of these just sitting on store shelves, you know, people not really so interested in them. So, yeah, this, this is not one of the better Harry Potter figures. Now, as far as the foodies pops are concerned, I am not completely against them. I know some people really don't like them and they especially don't like when people refer to them as ad icons because it is a separate thing. But um, yeah, I'm not completely against them. And I think some of them kind of work. You know, I actually do have the moon pie in my collection because that one is kind of nostalgic for me. I grew up eating moon pies. But this Pringles one, it just bugs me because the Pringles logo already has a face on it. And then they put another face on it and it kind of imitates that face. So it's like you see the double mustache going on there. And of course, you know, the double eyes and um, eyebrows. It's just it makes it look so weird to me. And I think it's just an odd, odd design choice there. I think it just doesn't work as a foodies pop. That's just my opinion, of course. Now, if you are a big fan of art series figures, then the next couple of minutes might be kind of tough. I'm just going to be real with you. Um, there's a lot of focus here on art series. I'm just putting that out there. And when I first saw these particular figures revealed, these um, art series Avengers pops, right away, I was like, they, they look like candy. They look like, you know, Jolly Ranchers. Um, that's what I refer to them as, like the Jolly Ranchers Avengers. I actually did an Instagram post about that. And, um, you know, with the sparkles they have going on, it kind of reminds me of like Sour Patch Kids. So, these are just awkward looking figures to me. They definitely, I know sometimes Funko is accused of being lazy. I don't completely agree with that because Funko does have a lot of new molds that they put out this year and they've had a lot of new characters. But yeah, they, these just don't seem to be have well, you know, have been well thought out. Um, some people even pointed out that the colors that they chose for the different characters is a bit awkward as well. And um, I don't know, maybe they could even done some different characters in the mix. I, I don't know. It's just... This, this just does not work for me. Now, of course, they had this set as an um, Amazon exclusive. And now the um, individual ones are kind of flooding shells right now. And I usually don't say this, but 
when I see a bunch of these on the shelf, I just can't help but feel like it's a waste of shelf space. Like there could be something else cool there, you know, especially when I'm trying to hunt down things that are difficult to find and I come across a bunch of these. It just feels like a waste of space to me. And I know that's not fair. Like I said, I know there are some fans of these figures out there, but that's just my gut reaction when I see a bunch of these sitting on store shelves. And then, of course, they did an exclusive as well of Thanos uh, mixing the colors together and changing up the base and it just did not help. I just, I still do not like the look of these particular figures. Definitely want to hear what you think about these though. And then focusing on Marvel still, they did these patriotic age pops and not a big fan of these either. Um, I think just at a glance, it's even tough to tell who these characters are. Like I said, just at a glance. Now, obviously when you really stare at them and you pay attention to some details, you can tell who they are, but yeah, th this feels a bit lazy here as well. And, um, you know, they included Spider-Man, but when I think about, you know, it's patriotic age figures here. When I think about patriotism, I don't necessarily go to Spider-Man right away. I thought he was kind of an odd character choice. And then they did include um, two Captain Americas, and one of them is the game reverse Captain America, which I was just not a fan of that particular figure, that particular mold in general. So seeing yet another version of it just didn't really work for me. And then even though they're using red, white, and blue, these, they just don't scream patriotism to me. It looks like some kind of odd Christmas wrapping paper around them so yeah I'm just really not a, a fan of the you know the look of these and I didn't even see too many of these on store shelves so either they were put out in like a limited number or um I don't know I really don't know what happened you know if you added these to your collection I definitely want to hear about that but uh they didn't seem to be super popular and they didn't seem to be out in a huge supply either and then of course Funko kept on with the art series um and this is one of the more recent um art series um, lines that they have done Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and right away I was like a lot of other people because I saw the feedback in my comments like why did they decide to do them this way why take these characters and basically just put their faces all over them and then they have words on there but it's only like two words like Cowabunga and Pisa and um yeah they just look so awkward um I agree with some people that maybe they would be better if they had more things on there like um maybe slices of Pisa their weapons you know just something else going on and then um, maybe that would have helped, but maybe not, because a big issue with the art series figures, if you look at this Michelangelo here, you see that horrible stretching going on with the images on him, the way his face is kind of stretched out and then it restarts around his mouth and um, the way it's stretched out on his legs as well. Like some of them just really don't look good up close. So I will say this, if you're going to, um, you know, add any art series figures to your collection, it's probably best if you can to try to get them in store and kind of compare because they do look different you know from figure to figure um go for one that actually doesn't have all that stretching going on at least it just doesn't look too good to me and poor splinter i think splinter ended up being probably the worst looking one he just looks so muddled and everything with the coloring on there and of course the brown and purple i just think doesn't look so great and i've seen a lot of splinter sitting around and uh, targets in my area and I just don't know if they're going to move anywhere <laughs> you know anytime soon they just really do not look good to me personally and then with Disney Disney has been a very mixed bag when it comes to the art series figures but this Donald Duck for one thing I, I really don't get the reference um, I'm and even if I got the reference, I'll say this. I still think this is just not a good looking figure. This is a horrible looking Donald Duck, in my opinion. I think the color scheme is just so awkward on him. And that design is just it doesn't even feel like a design. It just feels like something was just thrown on to him, basically. And um, if you know the reference, you could definitely share like why they went with this particular color scheme for him, if there's a reasoning behind it. But like I said, even with that, um, context I just don't think this is a good looking figure now art series figures they can be done right you know as a matter of fact this conductor Mickey that's on the way I don't think it has released yet but this conductor Mickey um, art series figure I think it looks pretty good because um, you know the way that the the stars are kind of shrieking around and everything it just gives that movement that is fitting for a conductor it almost looks like a fireworks display on him which is fitting so I think that works but then you look at this other Mickey Mouse here that came out earlier this year and it looks like somebody threw up spaghetti on it. It just looks so ugly to me. Like I, it's just off putting the way that it came out. And um, I mean, I know that it has clouds and trains on it or whatever, but just the color scheme is just so awkward to me. And it does have that issue with the stretching going on as well. So I just don't think it's a good looking figure. 
Now, Avengers Mech Strike, I am not going to completely put this line down because I think some of the figures look all right. And I actually do have a couple of them in my collection. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to completely put the line down. I do like the Black Panther one. Um, I like the Venom one. I have those in my collection. The Captain America is OK, although I don't feel like they needed to do a jumbo size of that one. But um, the one that really stands out to me and just kind of irks me is Thor. I mean, he just looks like a duck. Like, as soon as I saw this one, I was like, man, he looks like a duck. Like, the way his mouth is done, even something about the eyes, he just looks like a cartoon duck. It just does not scream Thor to me. And even the way he's holding his hammer, it just doesn't feel like it's fitting of Thor. So, yeah, like I said, Avengers Mech Strike, I'm not completely against the line, but I really don't like the way that this Thor figure turned out. Keeping a focus on Marvel here, we have Venom, Let There Be Carnage. These figures, I'm so not a fan of them. Um, I think the Venom is kind of passable, but it probably would be better if they um, found a way to kind of bulk up his shoulders more or something, which I think is possible with the Funko Pop. I know that Funko Pops, of course, they're not correct in terms of proportion and they're slim down and they're cutesy and all that. But still, I, I think that's just a little bit too far off from Venom, but it's passable overall. But the Carnage figures, I really don't like the look of them. I think his head just looks like a nasty meatball. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's something gross about the way that this figure turned out. And them doing a jumbo size pop really didn't help. I actually saw that one in my local Walmart, and I was like, it's just such an ugly figure. And I mean, I know that Carnage is meant to be ugly, but I mean, in the movie... I actually like the design of Carnage. I thought he looked pretty good. Um, Venom looks, you know, pretty decent in the movie as well. So these figures, though, they just did not work for me. I think they're ugly in the wrong way. And I'm just so not a fan of them. Now, my least favorite movie by far for 2021 is Space Jam A New Legacy. I really did not like that movie um of course i wasn't forced to watch it but curiosity got the better of me and i do have hbo max you know so i was like i'm already paying for it basically let me go ahead and check it out and i really did not like that movie um it's you know when people say gross commercialism like yeah that movie really exemplifies that and um you know as far as the pops are concerned i don't hate the pops altogether there are some decent pops here i thought the porky pig was actually pretty cool looking even though he had such a cringy moment in the movie one of the most cringy moments in any movie ever in my opinion um i do think that the taz looks pretty awesome as well and it's a flock figure which is pretty cool but um the figures that i really don't like for space jam a new legacy are these particular figures here so Bugs Bunny and LeBron James as Batman and Robin just ugh. like I, I hated it in the movie. I thought it was cringy in the movie and I really feel like it just doesn't need to be made as pops. I mean, seeing LeBron James as Robin is just kind of disturbing to me. And then this Gossamer there. Funko has already done better Gossamer pops. I don't care for the look of this one here, especially the way he seems like he's just stuffed into that jersey so much. Um, Yeah, it just doesn't look good to me. And LeBron is the cowboy ugh. like just another one that. Just didn't need to be made, in my opinion. And I could say as well um, that, you know, his son, you know, the character of his son and having a chase is like, who cares, really? Like, I mean, maybe if somebody's a huge fan of the movie, they would want that. But I, I just felt like it wasn't even necessary. I mean, again, I, I just don't like the movie. So I guess seeing these reminders, especially these horrible reminders of the movie, just doesn't really sit well with me. And then my least favorite pop of the year. Um, let me preface this a little bit. For one, um, I do think there were some good Walking Dead pops that actually came out for 2021. Not a lot, but the ones that they did do, for the most part, I think they were well designed. But when I first started collecting Funko Pops, like early on, one type of figure I did not like is when Funko takes an already created mold and they basically just color it gold and that's what they did with the rick grimes and they actually went with the original rick grimes too which to me just makes it look even worse like this when when people say that funko is lazy if they hold this up as an example it's kind of tough to argue against that like this is very lazy and of course i mean it's an exclusive to the walking dead supply drop so i don't even know how many people will go for this anyway i already see people trying to mark this up on the second market and i just don't know if people are going to really go for that because it's a pretty lazy, pretty uninteresting, almost ugly figure. And I'm just so not a fan of this. And I really don't want to see this continue with Funko. Um, I would rather them even, you know, take an old mold and maybe do a chrome version. At least it's somewhat eye-catching. But this dull gold color, I just don't like to see that on Pops. 
again you know of course that's just my opinion and all of this has been you know just my opinion i don't expect anybody else to agree with all of my opinions here and i definitely do appreciate you you though for taking the time to listen to my opinions about my least favorite Funko Pops of the year. And now I definitely want to hear from you all. Please share in the comments. Um, what do you think about the figures that I shared in this particular video? And if there's any other particular pops that you were you know, not a fan of, you know, please share in the comments and let me know why, you know, definitely let me know why you did not care for those particular figures as well. Uh, but yeah, I do appreciate you all taking the time to check this out. I look forward to doing my, um, favorite pops of the year because I do like to prefer to focus on the positive so like I said I just wanted to go ahead and get this one out of the way but again I do appreciate you all taking the time to check it out and I will talk to you all again real soon